practice. Or take a course on an amour hey. Or take a course on an amour hey. Mupeja Mosa, Mupeja Mosa, Mupeja Mosa. I or comment session. My channel is so, Anne, and then me, or this year, ba, or this year, Papa Pibby, Abuna Boatsima, me, dinner, no, and it's a woman, I will say, we see with Yassi, and Mammy, it's not say, me, or take a cost for none of ba, and then me, I, and the Akava view, and Bachelor is so, and see, and then you're gonna mamma cry so, see the wounds and I'm a family, we are, my family home or him, Papa Pibby, Anne, and see, and then you're gonna mamma a cry so, and see. Yen say me cry. Yen fa video no. En she she so. Eti akwa ba shonko. Akwa ba shonko. Ma shafuo. Ma dofuo. Mi subscribers. Akwa ba. Welcome. Aha. I know most of you are confused by the language. I spoke she. Yes. I spoke she. I didn't speak Ghana. Some of my, my Nigerian subscribers are like, Abuna, you speak Ghana. No, the language is not Ghana. The language is she. The country is Ghana. So, if you are not a Ghanaian, say after me, she, I, because she, because I. <laughs> so today, I want us to, you know, learn a little about the Ashanti culture. Today, I have a queen in my palanquin. Oh, yes, this is a chair, but in my mind, it's a palanquin. <laughs> so let's talk about the Ashanti culture. Oh, yes, we want to learn about the Ashanti festival. We have a lot of festivals in the Ashanti region. We have the Ukude, they have the Kesie, we have the Ashanti Yam Festival, and we have the Akweside Festival. Today, I want us to talk a little, learn a little about the Akweside Festival. Yes, so this festival is celebrated by the Ashantis. comment session as it. I or take a course on an mm -hmm. So the Akwiside festival is celebrated by the Ashantis of Ghana. They celebrate this to commemorate their ancestors or to you know remember their ancestors. What you see? The, the festival is celebrated on a Sunday once every six weeks. Asante for the Udi Agro crowd, Udi Agro, Asante my own, Ubusi, Umbot, Sawatia, Omuni Agro Cra, it's the Akusi Dedi, you have to twice here. So, as I already said, they celebrate this to commemorate their ancestors, also mark the seasons and timing for various agricultural activities. We need say, a Greek, a Greek is very important in our culture. The rights on that day relates to honoring the community ancestors. Uh, there is Akom, Akomba which follows drumming, dancing, you know, to honor the community ancestors. On that day, everything is butu, butu, butu. Also, there are food offerings like a top with boiled eggs. It is garnished with boiled eggs. They are off offered to the ancestors also. So on that day, the, the Asante Hene, that's the king of the Ashanti kingdom, meets with his subordinates in the courtyard of the Menshia Palace. The Menshia Palace is the palace at the Ashanti kingdom. So on that day, they meet together at the courtyard of the Menshia Palace and you know perform some rites to the ancestors. The golden stool, that is the throne, is displayed on the grounds at the palace when people come to sing and dance. Isn't this beautiful? Asante my Amam Repa Pipi. So before that, the king comes in his palanquin, followed by people who dance. He's decorated in gold jewelry. Who him say Asante my dear? They are known for their gold. Oh yes. Gold for Pipi. Sika Koko. So the king is decorated in gold, placed in his palanquin and carried by people onto the Deba ground. He holds his Deba on that same day. That is the Akwesi day. That's the day the king holds his Deba. But that day, people get the opportunity to greet and shake hands with the king. I say to two dear, it's not easy. Nanapa baby, it's not easy to meet or say to two and shake hands with him. No, it's not easy to meet the king and shake hands with him. So on the Akwesi day, the people have the opportunity to meet their king and shake hands with him. So if you want to see or say to and shake hands with him, <laughs> go to him on Akwesi day. And festival day, you'll be able to shake hands with him. To first, you are his subject. Oh, yes. Because this is a festival of paying respect, the king visits the Bantama Mausoleum to pay, not only to pay respect to their ancestors, but to their skeletal remains. So, 
on that day he visits the bantam mausoleum not only to pay respect to the ancestral too, but also to their skeletal remains this is really this is the main reason why the aquis there is celebrated to commemorate the ancestors and also pay homage to them what you see ah ah i'm to tuna see we don't joke with culture as antiphon do not joke with their culture at all so on this day we see queens uh kings from different uh tribes come to help celebrate this with the ashanti king queens like me dressed in this attire people come to feast people come to dance there is joy there is merry making there's a lot of happiness on that day trust my ashantis they really have fun on that day so this is a brief history of Aquiside Festival. Yes, I don't want to go deep into it. And you know, I hope you learned a thing or two from this festival. In my next video, I'll be talking about the Homowo Festival. And I hope you have your notifications on. Oh yes, have your bell on so that when I upload that video, you'll be able to get notified and learn more about the culture of Ghanaians. The Homowo is celebrated by the Gans of Ghana. Thank you once again. I'll see you in the next video.